All right, familiar portion of scripture here today from Exodus chapter 14. Moses finds himself in a horrible spot. He's got the Egyptians chasing them towards the Red Sea. He's got the people of Israel, the people that he's leading, complaining, saying in verse verse 12, didn't we tell you this was going to happen? We knew this was going to happen. Why didn't you just leave us in Egypt? Being slaves there is better than being corpses here in the wilderness. So Moses is in an awful, awful spot. And I'm guessing, and we don't see this in the Bible, Moses is asking these questions himself too. (laughs) Thanks a lot, God. But Moses told the people, don't be afraid. Just stand. Watch the Lord. He's going to rescue you. That's what verse 13 says. The Lord's going to fight for us, he says in verse 14. Look at what verse 15 says. Then the Lord said, why are you crying out to me? Tell the people to get moving. So Moses just told the people, stay here. God's going to take care of us. God says to Moses, why are you standing here? Get going. Ah, what in the world do I do? But here's something I never noticed in this story. So you got this unbelievable turmoil, questions, what in the world going on. And then verse 19 says this. It says, Then the angel of God, who had been leading the people of Israel, moved to the rear of the camp, protecting them from their very clear and present danger and threat. The angel who had been leading the people of Israel to a place they didn't want to be, they didn't like, the angel that had been leading them to that undesirable place, now went to the rear of the camp where the threat was. The pillar of cloud also moved from the front and stood behind them. Verse 20, the cloud settled between the Egyptian and the Israelite camps. The cloud, the presence of God, settled as a buffer between the threat and between the people of Israel. It settled there. As darkness fell, the cloud turned the fire, lighting up the night, but the Egyptians and Israelites did not approach each other all night. There was a, it wasn't a ceasefire, but there was a calm night. And then the next day, verse 21, then Moses raised his hand over the sea, Lord opened up a path, and now there was that buffer behind them. They walked into the impossible, the Red Sea, which God, of course, spread for them. And then I don't know about you, but I've questioned these things. So what was it that kept the Israelites, I'm sorry, the Egyptians from catching up to the Israelites when they're walking through the Red Sea? That rear guard. God led them. And then when the threat was coming from behind them, God protected them. That's it today. May God lead us and may God protect us. Are the questions there? Are the threats there? Is fear there? Is doubt there? Off the charts. But may God lead you and may God protect you. And in the middle of all of the realities, may we trust the nature of God that has not changed and will not ever change. He is faithful. He is our protector. He is our provider. He is our peace. He is our shepherd. Heavenly Father, help me to trust you to continue being who you've always been. In Jesus' name, amen.